paid ads suck. Yes, they provide an ROI, and if you're getting amazing ROI from them, you should be doing them. And you know what? Even though I'm saying they suck, I still use paid ads, and I use them each and every single day. But that doesn't mean that's the only way to grow your business. Hey everyone, I'm Neil Patel, and today I'm gonna share with you five sneaky ways you can grow your blog without paid ads. Step number one, go on social web. So whether it's Facebook or Twitter, and go see what people are saying about your competitors. Everyone's talking about your competitors. I hate to say it, you're not the only popular one out there. That's just the reality. And you know what? Your competitors may be more popular than you. But when you see more people talking negatively about your competition, or you see them talking positively about your competition, you want to engage in their conversation. And if they're like, oh my God, you're, you know, X, Y, and Z company has this amazing post. I would go respond to that person and be like, oh, did you know we also have a similar post, but ours covers A, B, and C that theirs doesn't cover? It's like, Take that. And you know, by doing that one little simple thing, you'll start getting more traffic, more people familiar with your blog, and it really does work. How do I know this? My competitor, Mixpanel, used to do this with my company, Kissmetrics, back in the day. I was like, crap, why don't I think of this? But now I know about it, and I'm sharing that with you. The second strategy you want to do is go comment on your competitor's blog. Your competitors have blog posts. Who says you can't comment on them? If you comment, you engage, and don't be negative. Don't be like, oh, we're better than you, or we have better content. You can just be like, nice post. I love how you covered X, Y, and Z. You can give some tips, and then you can even say, oh, we also covered this, that, and the other that you didn't on your blog post, and if you're interested, you can check it out here and link back to your site. It's an amazing way to get traffic from your competitors. The third strategy I have for you is go to hrefs.com, put in your competitor blog URL, and go see who's linking to them. Hit up each and every single one of those people and send them a simple email. Hey John, I noticed you're linking to xyz.com and you linked out to this specific article related to online marketing. We actually have a similar post, but ours covers 20 more advanced ways you can double your traffic. Cheers, Neil Patel. By doing that and shooting out emails to other people who are linking to your competitors, and it's just a casual email. You notice in that email, I didn't say, hey, you should link out to me, you should promote me. No, I'm not being that direct. I'm just starting a conversation, making it super casual. And by doing that, more people are likely to start including my blog posts on their website and link to me. And I'm getting all that data from hrefs.com because it shows me every single site that's linking to my competitor. So BuzzSumo shows you the most popular articles or the least popular articles that your competitors have. You put in their blog URL and it'll show you all of their most popular posts sorted by social shares. Once you have that, what you want to do with BuzzSumo is take their most popular posts and go write better versions of them. So use Brian Dean's skyscraper technique. So if they wrote a post on 20 amazing ways to do yoga poses, I would write an article on 101 advanced ways to do yoga poses, right? As a beginner or something like that. As you can tell based on the title, I don't really know much about yoga, but you get the point. I'm just one-upping them and doing something that's way more detailed. And then in BuzzSumo, it shows you who shared your competitor's content when you click on the view sharers link. Then I would hit up each and every single one of those people and then ask them to share my content as well. And last but not least, no one's perfect. Everyone has a complaint. If you say you don't have any complaints, I call bullshit. I complain about stuff all the time. And I bet you people are complaining about your competitors each and every single day. So go on the social web, find out who's complaining, help them out, and tell them about your blog and everything you have and all the solutions you have to help them out. And by building that bond and helping them, you're gonna turn their haters into your evangelists. That's amazing because you're just feeling the fire, making more people passionate about your company, your blog, you're building this community, you're creating more evangelists, and everyone's gonna be like, yeah, let's share your content and let's do really well. And do those five sneaky things and you will get more traffic to your blog without spending any money on paid ads.